Hello everyone, this is Nathan Bridges from Nathan's Nuggets and today I'm with Barca's football player Jalen Smith. Thank you for joining me today. Anytime, Nathan, anytime. Thank you for having me. No problem, I'll start with the first question. How old were you when you started playing football? Um, I was nine when I first started, so seven years now. I've been playing for seven. So you've been seven years? Yeah. Yes, been sir. playing for a while. Mm-hmm. Did you play any other sports? Um, track. I really like track. Um, I did wrestling, too, because my cousin wanted me to try it. It was cool, but um, I'm going I'm to do basketball and track this year as well. You're going to do three sports this year? Yes, sir. Do you think your track skills help you in football? Almost <laughs> definitely. Track speed is... It's hard to translate onto the field because football speed and track speed are definitely different. But as far as breaking away, track definitely helps. So that helps you like when you're like you break away. Yes, sir. Why did you choose to play for Garces? Um, I really liked not just the football team. Um, academic wise, they're real. They're real high on academics. Um, yeah, I just love the school. It's a beautiful campus. Do you like that? Because they're academically, they're good at that yeah. also. Yeah. They're real high on academics, yeah. And they have a good program, so it can help you for both stuff, like, all around. Exactly. What's your favorite part about being listed as an athlete? Um, I think it shows colleges and my versatility, because I really like to be versatile. I like to be able to play any position, so I think that really shows. That show like, that they can – Kind of recruit, yeah, like any position pretty much for exactly. colleges. Yeah, I'll play anywhere. What were you feeling in the first time you played in the rivalry game versus Memorial? Oof, <laughs> I was a sophomore. Um, and I believe we had, you, uh, San Joaquin had Leonard Glass, McMillan, and that's who that's who we were focusing on all week. So I was yeah, it was it was a tough game. I played linebacker that game and Glass was just he, he's hard to tackle for sure. Mm -hmm. And then McMillan, I'd covered him one play. He he he's fast. So yeah, it was definitely intense. Um I believe I think it was close, but I think they pulled away towards the end. So yeah, it really it really pushed the rivalry as I got older. So <laughs> So you're going against two D one athletes. Yeah, exactly. It's fun. I love competition. Mm -hmm. You got the drive to compete against some of the best players. Exactly. What is it like playing with guys at your high school who will also be playing at the next level? Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Um, I, I like it because we push each other all a little bit. Zion, that, he's fastest, one of the fastest people I know, so I try to run with him as much as possible. Bucky, just a giant human being, so I love to lift with him, and yeah, it's fun being on the same team as them because I grew up with them, so it's all fun. So you always knew them? Yeah, yes, sir. Those are they're good athletes, you know, speed, mm -hmm. and Jack Bucky can't. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's cool. I love seeing people I grew up with like get that opportunity. It's fun to get to like play with them in high school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who was your favorite football player as a kid? Ooh, growing up, my dad was a Steelers fan. So um, my first year of football, I chose number 43 because the only player I knew was oh. Troy Polamalu. So yeah, um, I, I, I loved Troy Polamalu for a while. And then my next year was when I started to play running back and my coach gave me 26. So I started to like Le'Veon Bell a lot. So yeah. Both what, former Steelers players. Yeah, great. Do you try to model your game after anyone? Offensively, I try to combine a lot because I, I like being hard to tackle, but at the same time, I need that speed and agility. So I like to focus it to one person. Saquon is a good person to go off of because he's just a combination <laughs> of all of it. But um, who I try to like match identically is probably Adrian Peterson offensively. He's, he's, he's a dog. And then defensively, that's that's hard because, like I said, like it's versatile. So I try to pick a little from everything 
um, my favorite linebacker. So I'd probably model Ray Lewis and Cleo Mack a lot because, yeah, they're just dogs. And then mm -hmm. Brian Dawkins, for sure. He brings that energy. He was good for the Eagles. Yeah, yes, sir. And good running backs, Adrian Pearson and Saquon Barkley. Mm -hmm. Animals. What is the most intense high school game you have ever played in? Ooh, atmosphere-wise, San Joaquin, like <laughs> this last year. That it was packed, they were loud, like they they were ready. Physically, my freshman when we played Saint John Bosco, that that game was intense. So you played, so, yeah. you played against Saint John Bosco. Mm -hmm. My freshman year, it was wow, intense. That's, was that when they had Real Mitchell? Yes, sir. That was, he's he's fast. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, he's shifty. He's real shifty. Was that when they were filming him on QB one? I believe so. If it, yeah, I believe so. It should have, yeah, it was that year. So you got to like be on TV, kind of mm -hmm. like on the show. Yeah, it was cool. What were you feeling when you got your first offer? Um, grateful and more like relieved, cause like as a junior, everybody's waiting on that first offer, and especially with Corona going on and co uh, coaches being out of their office, it was just, it was just real hard for um, everyone to get off and so I was just real grateful. So it was like that your hard work had paid off because you like waiting for the first offer? Yes, sir. How have you been staying in shape and ready for this upcoming season? Um, we, were, My coach, we were on Zoom workouts for a while, but um, that, that has stopped. So uh, with school starting up, I try to go outside and do a lot of footwork and speed stuff. Uh, before school starts. After school, I'll do a, a nice core workout, and then towards the evening, I'll get sprints and lifting. So you work on like everything, your core, your speed, yeah, your lift. Yeah, after. What are your goals for your senior year? Um, a ring, for sure. That's a team goal, for sure. We, we preach that a lot. Um, Individual-wise, um, I'm shooting for at least 2,000 yards rushing and somewhere with uh, by 800 yards receiving and then lead the Valley in tackles. So you want, you want to lead the Valley in tackles? That's a good goal. Yeah, yes, sir. How have you been getting recruiters to look at you? Um, you know, you just push a lot of your workouts out and a lot of film. It's real hard right now because they're not in the offices and they have to focus on what they're going to do for their season. So it's just been real hard. But I've been able to talk to a few schools like UCLA, Fresno, um, Tennessee. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. yeah. You just try to push out as much film as possible right now. Those are good programs. Yeah. My mom went to UCLA. Yeah, that's a real, I love it out there. The, camp, the campus is beautiful. So you gotta like it is it is a nice campus. So you gotta like post a lot of your workouts because they're like not in their office and stuff. Yeah, because by around this time they'd be coming out to the high school to check you out and see what you're doing. So like so they right like just come in person kind of and talk to you. Exactly. What game are you most looking forward to this year? What was that? What game are you most looking forward to this year? Ooh, San Joaquin is definitely up there for sure. That's the rivalry game. I got to get at least one win playing them. Um, and then Liberty, they're another powerhouse team. So, yeah, those are two games. Mm -hmm. Those are good pro. Those are good teams. Yeah, yes, sir. San Joaquin Memorial, they, you know, they're good. Mm -hmm. And Liberty. Yeah. They're, they're usually like, games. they've been in the semifinal a lot. Mm -hmm. D one. How do you think playing for Garces helps you be able to play at the next level? Oh, uh, with Co well, we got a coaching change. My going into my junior year with Coach Gola, and he has a lot, a lot of experience. He talks to a lot of coaches, so he's definitely prepared us for the next level a lot. So I think with him, he's definitely helped for sure. But he, because he has the experience, so he can like, help you get prepared. Yeah, exactly. Everything we do is college based. Oh, is it really? So he has all the college based stuff? Mm hmm. Then the last question I have is for fun. 
You get to take any three NFL players to dinner. They can be past or present. Who are you taking? Oof. I'm gonna have to go Deion Sanders, Chad Ochocinco, and ooh, who's the third one? Marshawn Lynch for sure. <laughs> Just because I love their energy. You like all the guys with the energy, like mm -hmm. all the nicknames, like Beast Mode, Prime Time, Time. Beast Mode. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Neon Dion. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks for joining me today. Anytime, Nathan. Thank you for having me. No problem.